in my last shop organization video I put all my sending supplies in this drawer well that uh, that didn't turn out so good so uh, I'll attempt to change that okay so here I got all the stock I'll need for, for my project for my sending storage station something and here I got all my sheets of sandpaper which have been lying around the shop for a long time and uh, this is what I came up with don't mind the 49.5 that's the measurement that's the new measurement of the height because uh, I'm not actually gonna do this uh, these, these dados uh, I'm actually just gonna use butt joints so here I've got this uh, based on Steve Ramsey's design uh, I've got this holder for my for my sanding discs and here here I will uh, store all my sanding sheets I'll have 14 compartments and uh, I've left this space open I'll probably put a shelf over here and uh, use that to store uh, sandpaper holders uh, glue maybe and stuff like that Okay, so uh, I have uh, laid out my uh, my pieces, which are going to get slotted for uh, the shelves in which the uh, the sandpaper sheets will go to. Uh, I got these. Uh, you can see them. I got them notched out every three centimeters, and uh, I've also marked which side I'm, I'll be cutting. And I was very careful to transfer to transfer those marks to another board, uh, simply because uh, one is, as you can see, one shorter than the other. Uh, since I'm using butt joints, um, this will be an issue. But I think I was uh, careful enough to to transfer those marks, and I think it's going to be okay. So there's one cool feature about this saw, it has this cool little sticker on which you can draw uh, the lines marking both sides of your, of your curve and uh, all I need to do is line up my cutting lines with those lines and bzzik, that's it. So I got this far in the project, uh, I made a box actually, so very proud of myself for making a box. Now what I need to do is figure out something to, sorry, to put this in here somewhere and to do that I'm actually gonna use, to do that I'm actually gonna use two of these shelves or maybe more if necessary. Just line them in. By the way, this uh, this is fitting perfectly. It slides nicely, even though I don't think it'll be sliding all that much. So I'll just out try to line these up. And I'll just try to line these up and to have an estimation of where I need to drill for my screw holes. There, it'll be something like that. Here's a better view. So, this paper, the sandpaper will go in here like this. So this one's a bit curled, but you get the idea. That's how it's gonna be. So let's screw this, this divider in and we'll see. Oh, 
these holes in which I put these these steel pins and they will hold the shelf on here. There we go. And this scrap piece will act as the shelf. Something like that. So that's basically it. So these are the shelves in which the sand sandpaper will be stored and uh, they slide pretty nicely. So it is a, more or less a, a saw curve with this MDF and uh, I've done the same for this little guy here which is storage for my sanding discs. Inspired by Steve Ramsey's design, not exactly the same. Uh, I don't I don't intend to put my uh, sander up here. It will be stored in here somewhere probably, but uh, for now this is it. This is what I wanted. I also used this one. This is where I used to hold my discs and uh, the little diesel triangles for the detail sander. Uh, I, I'm using this now to store odds and ends. I don't know if it will stay here or not, but uh, we'll see. So let's let's fill this up and see how it looks. Here it is, all completed, filled up, and uh, that's about it. I really like the way it turned out. Uh, this shelf, th this part of the cabinet actually, is my kind of catch all right put my sander sanding discs uh, used sandpaper sponges sanding sponges that is uh, tape measure which doesn't have a real home uh, glue br blue brush uh, sandpaper holders sharpening equipment sandpaper, sheets of sandpaper which I wanted to store actually I even found this guy where I use my extra sandpaper which is right here and yeah that's it there are also my bits here so that's that's actually it uh, I really like the way it turned out uh, this was a really interesting project which I wanted to do for quite a long time for a long time I had problem with the sheets of sandpaper and now I finally got it all cleared out and uh, yeah I think this will look good here it doesn't it's not in my way uh, I've emptied out, emptied out this cabinet here, almost, uh, so I can put some tools in it and yeah, well, that's it. I, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Uh, if you have any co comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, please hit that subscribe button, it really helps me a lot and uh, I'll see you next time.